Michael Chandler criticizes premature praise for Islam. Makachev. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show. Welcome to the home of MMA. Michael Chandler knew it very well. He still has to prove himself in the UFC world despite all of his accomplishments in the latter MMA. Understanding that he couldn't stick to the previous accolades, he requested UFC for an important fight against the hardest opposition. That is also a reason why Michael isn't entirely sold on the hype built around top-ranked lightweight contender Islam Makhachev. In October at UFC 280, Islam faces Charles Oliveria with the title of 155 pounds. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have watched this far and don't forget to like and share this video. Currently, Makashev has maintained a 10 fight unbeaten strike. Amazing, right? But Chandler can rapidly take apart his list of references with inquiries regarding the degree of contest those wins came against. In his recent interview, he said that nothing against Islam. You say he looks great, you say he looks unbeatable at times but he hasn't really fought anybody. That's really the truth. He beat number 14 and then he beat Dan Hooker, who was on a three or four fighting losing streak. Now people will say, well, one of your wins was against Dan Hooker. What are you talking about? I fought Dan Hooker at a different time. He had just gone 25 minutes with Dustin Poirier, who was the number two lightweight on the entire planet at that time. I just think Islam, Islam's strengths are also Charles' strengths, and Charles' striking is better, and I do think, I don't know, I just think, I think Charles is more skilled. Makashev had never stayed away from the highest level rivalry and planned to confront quite possibly the best lightweight in the world, when he coordinated with Benil Derush in February. Sadly, Derush experienced a physical issue, and Makashev rather wound up confronting Bobby Green whom he dispatched inside the main round. Assuming that Makashev goes out and destroys Oliveria in a comparable design, Chandler guarantees he'll give the Russian all the credit on the planet. In any case, he can't do that yet without the list of references to back up the promotion. But hang in there everyone, there's something more important. Press that blood red subscribe button if you want us to keep making MMA videos. Now, let me tell you that Chandler added, I'm not saying that Islam is not that good. But we just can't say that he's that good yet. It's premature praise. But when it came to Oliveria, Chandler has nothing but praise and compliments. Regarding Makachev, Chandler can't say he has the credentials for his name to remain closed by different lightweights that Oliveria has previously vanquished. Elaborately, he feels like this is a matchup that his previous rival can win. And this was it for today's video. Don't forget to share your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed it. Just stick to us, because further MMA videos on some hot topics are on your way.